Hi, I'm Peter Knight. I want to talk today about a principle of the golf swing. So many players, because they hold the club in their hands, feel that they have to use their hands or manipulate the club. There are so many, your whole body's moving, so many moving parts. Your body, your arms and the club, and they all have to be sequenced. The most difficult way to achieve that sequence is by feeling like you're, you have to manipulate your hands to have control of the motion. The easiest way is actually to have your body as being the boss of the movement and your hands and arms do less. So how do we start to get the feel of that movement and the sequencing? If I let go of this club or take my right hand away, all my club wants to do because of gravity is to swing to the, to the, to the bottom, to the ground. If I hold my left arm, my left arm's soft and, and relaxed at the shoulder, if I let go of my left thumb here, my arm wants to swing to the ground or to vertical. Now with a golf club and my left arm, if I let go now of the grip with my right hand, my left arm and the club want to just fall. Now I, first of all I want to get that feeling of being so loose jointed that the club will actually do that. That's the first part of the drill. The next thing is that when I did let that club drop, it hit the ground back here somewhere. Now clearly my golf ball is in a completely different position to that. So now if I let the club fall and allow my body to turn a little bit, then all of a sudden the club's going to strike the ground in a different place. Not where I want it to, but it's in a different place because my body's moved with that free falling arm and club. Now if I allow my arm to, to fall freely, allow the club to fall freely, but turn my body just the right amount, the club will actually strike the ground right where I want it to. Now my objective is to allow the, my arm and the club to fall, and as they're falling, they're slowly catching up to swing into line with one another. I want that point to be right underneath my left shoulder here. Now if I'm hitting a golf ball, that point under my left shoulder is actually after impact. The good thing about that is that if my arm and club come into impact, uh, come into line at impact or just after impact, it ensures that I'm catching the ball with a descending blow, which of course I want to do if I'm striking the golf ball correctly. So first of all, practice that movement either without a golf ball, uh, sorry, without a golf ball, maybe into an old cushion or an impact bag or something like that, but just let it fall so that when, it, when your arm does get to becoming vertical, vertical, there's no tension held in your arm, no, or your hand, or your body. So the club is just going to fall. Because I've got no bag here, the club's not going to stop. It will hit the ground and just keep on going. So there's been no flick with my hand, there's been no pull with my arm. I've literally let it free fall. Then I'm going to put two hands on the club and going to have that same feeling. So from the top of my swing, I'm letting everything free fall. Looks like a golf swing, doesn't it? So that's exactly what we want to do, is coordinate the movement correctly without force, without pressure, and without manipulation. Once you understand that principle and actually get that into your swing, you'll find that will help you with virtually all of your shots. A chip shot is a short shot that has very little manipulation in it, and that's the one where players tend to want to use their hands. So chipping and pitching are going to greatly benefit from doing this drill.